Hello, welcome to Super Bits and Bob's Towers, and today we're going to play some <coughs> uh, Dead Island. Um, now, as I'm sure everyone's aware, it's a, a zombie apoc apocalypse game uh, based on an island uh, somewhere. Not quite sure where exactly, but that's uh, that's what the game's all about. Um, give me a second. Let's just clear this one. There you go. Yeah, now the, the game is essentially a cross between um, a few different games actually, so there's a bit of, there's a bit of Dead Rising in there. Um, you'll find a bit of Fallout 3, uh, the way the sort of the, the quests work and the sort of levelling works. Uh, you know, you've got a bit of uh, Borderlands in there as well. So yeah, a mixture of all three really. Um, now I'm playing a new game plus, which just means I've already gone through the game with... Uh, Let's sort of these guys out first, shall we? Bloody zombies. Oh, that's a bit of head stomping there. Right, okay. Yeah, so I'm playing through uh, New Game Plus, which means this character's already finished the game once, and you could then sort of carry on the game again at the beginning with all of your <coughs> your levelling up and your, and your items. Got a few good items at the moment. An orange machete and a couple of other bits. Uh, so yeah, this is New Game Plus. Um, I'm level 35, so all the zombies and stuff are going to be around that level as well. Now this particular quest, uh, full canister, what I need to be doing is taking this canister back to the uh, lifeguard house uh, for some guy because he wants to burn some bodies. So yeah, as you can see it's an open world game, as I said, pr pretty, pretty much a combination of all the games that I've mentioned. Um, it got a terrible review in Edge. I think Edge gave it a 3 or a 4 or something, which I was very surprised at, because it's a much better game than that. Um, it, it came a bit quirky, it's a bit rough around the edges, um, and it can get a bit repetitive later on, I found. Um, but, but overall, it's a fantastic game, and if you like zombies, you know, and you're a fan of Fallout 3 and those kind of games, then you really will love this. Right, let's just make sure that I've... Uh Yep, so we're just taking the gas canister to Mike, basically, for this first bit. And obviously, obviously, the fact you can drive vehicles means you can drive around the... Uh, oh! <laughs> ramming zombies and ramming lampposts. Uh, yeah, there's a few different types of zombies in there. You've got the walkers, who are just the slow shambling guys. Uh, you've got the, the infected who are a bit like 28 days later zombies like that guy who just comes steaming towards you. Um, you've got some, some other sort of specially infected a bit later on. Base of operations. There are sort of two or three different uh, parts of uh, bases around the island. Uh, you've got the island section. There's a city section. There's a jungle Hurry section. It up. These fuckers are starting to stink. <laughs> Fair enough, mate. Do you want me to put it just there? Okay. So that's essentially. Hey, thank you. That's giving you an idea of what the quests are all about. You know, there's. I think that maybe that's what some of the criticism was. You know, they are a lot of the the, the uh, quests are fetch quests. Go here, do this, come back again. But I mean, that's kind of what you get in these games. You know, I don't see what the problem is there. So that's the quest done there for. I think it was Mike cleared the corpses. Um. I think I've got the bits for this guy. Well, this guy. Whoa, great job. There we go. Yeah, this guy wanted me to get some car parts, which I've done for his car. There we go. Uh, I'm using the analog controls, uh, so I've got a, an Xbox controller plugged into the PC. It basically allows you to target limbs, and you you also sort of move the sword around with the stick, uh, and then you move the stick to swing. Yeah, but the, the main thing is that for for this character anyway, she gets extra experience for cutting off limbs. When you get some of the big guys, you can sort of, you know, basically take bits off them by targeting them with for extra XP. Right, let's see what another quest we've got that we can do to show you. Let's go and retrieve Janine's necklace from the bungalow. 
don't know why the hell someone would want a necklace from the bungalow in the zombie apocalypse. I've got no idea, but we'll go and do it because they give us experience for it. Yeah, there's a few sections. You've got the island section, then you move on to the city. I'll, I'll probably do another video when I get to the city because that, that's, a, that's a good bit, that bit. The city's really tense. I mean, you sort of, you know, every road is full of zombies. Uh, and you really have to be careful there. So, we'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do a video when I get to the city. That's a good bit, that bit. Sounds like an infected's chasing after me. <laughs> Here we go, yeah. <laughs> Holy smoke. Get down. Right, okay. <coughs> now there is, there is another quest here at, um, earlier on, which I've already done actually. Uh, there's a woman here that you rescue, and her husband's in the bathroom there in a bit of a bad Oops, God. In a bit of a bad way. And I think when you return now, he's actually turned into a zombie. Oh, there he is. Roger's body. Right, Roger, you'll be pleased to know that your wife's safe. I've protected your wife. But unfortunately, I've had to kill you. Ooh, God bloody. I don't have much money from my previous game, actually. My previous game that I played through. So at the moment I'm doing quite a lot of head stomping just to save the uh, durability on my weapons. There's a necklace that she wanted. One thing I recommend when you're going around is if, if you see any, if you see stuff like, if you see any alcohol, uh, bottles of water, um, food, that kind of thing, pick it up because there's quite a lot of quests in the game where people ask you to go and get those. Maybe there's something in here. And it's quite handy to have them already on you. So yeah, little pro tip there, I recommend that. Uh, so we've got the necklace. Let's look for another quest. Find Maggie. I've got no idea. That doesn't, doesn't give you any idea where that quest is. So we'll uh, we'll leave that one. I've got a paramedics bag to find. That's not too far away from here, actually. I'll uh, we can get up there. Yep. Uh, the the character I'm using is I think I think Lou. Her name is Lau, something like that. And she uh, uh, she's a sharp weapons expert. So most of her skills on her tree are, are aimed at sort of extra damage with your uh, with your sharp weapons and extra chances of critical as well. So she also seems to have quite a lot of stamina in comparison to the only other guy I've played the game with was Logan, who's the um, He's the uh, throwing weapons expert, uh, but she seems to have more stamina than him, so it's quite useful for sprinting actually, because it can be. Sometimes you just want to run through a load of zombies rather than. Um, oh my god! Yeah, rather than sort of stopping and killing loads of them, sometimes you just want to run through. And she can run quite a long way, so it's. Uh, before she runs out of stamina, that's quite useful. Let's take a couple of heads off, shall we? Whew. Okay, let's have a quest done. What we'll do is we'll head back and turn them in. the car up for me there so I can use that as well. Anyway, that's a bit of Dead Island. As I said, when I get to the town I'll, I'll, I'll do a bit more because that's uh, town's a really good part of the game. But I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, speak to you soon.